그냥 셀카 찍는 거 아니에요. 저희 셀카로 건강 체크하고 있다고요. 오늘 메디컬 토크쇼의 주제는 바로 이 앱입니다. 오늘 게스트는 이 앱을 개발한 강리 교수님이신데요. Please welcome Professor 강리. Hi, Professor Lee. Thank you so much for your time for the interview. What is Anura app? Please explain me in details about this application. So Anura app is a app you can download for free on your Android phones or Apple phone. And then we want to use Anura to measure all sorts of things about your mental states and physiological states to help you to manage your mental and physical health. We now have added your, not only your heart rate, but also we can detect whether or not you have irregular heartbeat. That is called arrhythmia. So we actually can detect your arrhythmia. We also can measure your breathing very well. We also can detect how old you are. What is your BMI? How tall you are and uh, how much you weigh and your waist circumference, how much uh, belly fat you have, so we can detect that as well. And can you dictate changes in blood pressure by using this app? Yes, yes, so we can do this. All blood pressure actually changes. Uh, it goes through a very interesting periodic change. So you can use the app to track your blood pressure going up and down, up and down. So how did you come up with the idea of this app? So in the TED talk that I talked about that over the last 20 years of my research, I discovered that the adults, including parents, cannot detect their children's lives. So then we have to figure out a way to help me as researchers, as well as parents, to detect children's lives. If we want to know when children are telling lies, what happens in their body? Do they get heart rate increase? Do they breathing changes? So all these questions we don't know about. So then we invent this technology. But by accident, we realized this technology actually is very helpful to help you and me to know how healthy I am. So you have discovered this by accident? Totally by accident, yes. Oh, okay, that's very interesting. As I know, you have used TOI technology. So what exactly is TOI technology? TOI, we call it toy. So this technology uses a regular camera on your phone because when light comes to hit your skin, it doesn't actually bounce back. The light actually penetrates. Once it goes underneath your skin, it encounters two major proteins. One is melanin that determines your skin tone, how dark or bright or white your skin is. Another kind of protein is called the hemoglobin. That's basically the red blood cells going through your blood. So, and then once the light interacts with uh, the melanin and the hemoglobin, some of the light will reflect out of your skin. Once the girl goes out of skin, the camera sensor on your phone would pick that up. And we take the hemoglobin information, then we can convert them into all sorts of things about your mental states and your physiological states such as your heart rate, breathing, blood pressure, and your stress. Who should use this application? Hypertensive patients or people with the normal blood pressure? Normal people, because so we designed this for, uh, for mostly for uh, adults from 18 years of age all the way to 100 years of age. Uh, and we want to use this app on a daily basis. But then why is it all for normal people? Why isn't for the uh, high blood pressure patients? Oh, yes, it will be for people who have high blood pressure. But I want to, this app to be used for as many people as possible. Because, for example, when you have uh, hypertension, it takes uh, many years for you to get to that point. So there are warnings about 5, 10 years before that. So if you five, 10 years before that, you know you have risk for developing uh, hypertension, then you would change your lifestyle 
uh, do exercise or eat less salty food or, or eat more veggies or whatever you do to change your behavior and then to prevent you from developing hypertension. So the impact of our app is much broader than just helping people who already have hypertension. How accurate is it compared to the device that we are using at the hospital? So the device that you use at the hospital have been approved by FDA in, U in the United States. Our app actually has not been approved by any of these uh, health organizations or the authorities. So our app's accuracy for people whose blood pressure is under 160 systolic and under where our accuracy actually is very close to the FDA requirement by the United States. Accuracy is about 95 to 96% accurate. But for people whose blood pressure is above 160 millimeter mercury for systolic uh, blood pressure, our accuracy is not very good. So th that's another reason we want to use it for people who have normal blood pressures and slightly higher blood pressures than normal. So that is between 140 to 160. So we can cover this, this, this range of the blood pressure well. And then you, so you can use it to monitor your blood pressure. We are trying to improve our models uh, to make better predictions. Is there any precautions for use when we are using the application? Because we have not got FDA approval, so you cannot use our app as a medical device. So don't use it for medical diagnosis or for determining whether or not you're going to take um, medications and things like that. Sometimes when your physical condition change, our app can detect that and give you a warning, then you may have to go to the hospital to check out your, your physical conditions with your doctors. Does the race or the amount of lightning or the place where I'm taking the selfie, these things affect our results? You ask a very, very good question. The AI is very smart. So this technology picks up a blood flow under your skin. So it doesn't have anything to do with your race. However, it doesn't matter though about lighting. So you cannot do it under very poor lighting conditions or the, it's very, very bright. But in normal indoor uh, lighting conditions, like your studio, your, your, your apartment or my house, we can do it very easily. Another thing is if you do, do a lot of makeup, things like uh, sun lotions. These lotions basically they cover up uh, too much of your skin. And that would make it difficult for our app to measure you correctly. Gotcha, what about the distance? So the closer you are, the better our measurements. So it's about half of your arm's length. Then you can get a very good measurements. So a lot of things we are not aware of ourselves, but our physiology and mental states actually change up and down during the whole day. So by using it on an hourly basis, you may learn more about yourself. 오늘은 내 손안의 건강검진 앱을 소개해 드렸는데요. 이 앱을 이용해서 매일매일 간단하게 내 건강 상태를 체크해 보면 어떨까요? 저도 얼른 체크하러 가봐야겠어요. 내 핸드폰 어디 있어? 어디 있어? 있어.